cryptocurrencies, well, they're actually taking a, a bigger hit than the major indices right now. If you look at Bitcoin, uh, this is a pretty ugly picture here, down 9%. We do have it below 37,000. In fact, we're just about 109 bucks above 36,000. Uh, for the moment, we're looking at cryptos across the board falling, but adoption is actually still rising. And when we say adoption, we mean businesses out there who are willing to take it. Gucci busts out with this, strutting the crypto catwalk. The luxury Italian retailer announced today it's going to accept cryptocurrency as a form of payment in select stores in the U.S., starting with sort of a beta, a beta test here, right? The brand will accept up to 10 different cryptos, including Bitcoin, yes, Shiba Inu, and <laughs> Dogecoin's in there too. Gucci says it will convert the crypto into fiat currency. Gucci joins Posh Fitness Club Equinox, who also announced plans to start accepting crypto in its New York City locations through BitPay. And as the digital currency plummets early in May, right, the first five days here, remember, Bitcoin seasonally has historically rallied 27% this month for the past 11 years. Will that still be in play or is a 2018 style crash ahead? Let's bring in Brock Pierce, the crypto billionaire who was one of the key figures behind El Salvador's legal acceptance of Bitcoin as legal tender here in New York. He's making a similar push for the city, giving a TEDx talk last night. Joining me now in studio, uh, Brock Pierce. Brock, good to see you. Um, a big sell off here. What is this telling you? Well, there's more sellers than uh, uh, than buyers, and 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 we've seen this. There, as much as we dream of a time where this becomes an uncorrelated asset class, uh, it tends to move with the markets. When we see a big sell-off in the the traditional equity market, stock market, uh, we tend to see the same thing in this space, and we do expect a decoupling at some point. That has been one of the promises of this alternative asset class, but not yet realized, and. Um, I do expect that to change, though. Are you, you're, so you're still a believer. Does that mean you're still a buyer? Because, you know, your neighbor in Puerto Rico, Peter Schiff of Euro Pacific, has said to me, Liz, the early Bitcoin billionaires, and that would put you into that category, they're not buying anymore. They're, sell, they're buying assets. They're buying jets and private jets and, and fancy homes. Are you still buying? I am. I uh, continue to buy, but I... I'm invested in all sorts of things, and, and, and Peter Schiff does manage my gold mining stock portfolio. Right. I, I am not one of those people that operates with a singular view. I do believe that diversification is, uh, is a sound strategy that has withstood the, uh, uh, the tests of time. I am not a put all your eggs in one basket sort of person. Mm -hmm. I am definitely massively allocated to the, uh, the cryptocurrency sector and continue to found, create, invest, uh, and, and will continue to do so. Though I, I do hold gold and, and precious metals as well, and, and Peter Schiff, my neighbor and friend, mm -hmm. uh, does help me with that. Uh, yeah, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger over the weekend, last weekend in Omaha, Nebraska, they really dislike it, obviously. I mean, it was here on Fox Business several years ago. They both called it rat poison. Uh, meantime, you've done extraordinarily well with it. But the question becomes, does it go to zero? There are people who think it will simply because... It, you know, it's the adoption isn't that muscular in the grand scheme of things. However, Fidelity has just announced that they will add cryptocurrency as an option to 401k plans later this year. What would you say to people like Buffett and Munger? Well, I mean, they're they're not known for their foresight or vision around innovation and the world changing. You know, obviously, the Sage of Omaha is you know, one of the best, the greatest value investor at scale that we're aware of. But wh how does that qualify him to have an opinion about kind of what's happening in this space? I wouldn't go to him for that type of advice. It's not what he's qualified. You know, if you have a heart problem, you go to a cardiologist. If you, you got something going on with your head, your brain, you go to a neurologist. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Warren Buffett, utmost respect. And I love spending time with people that disagree with me. I think those are where the best conversations occur, which is why uh, I love spending time with my neighbor. But um, uh, I, it could go to zero. It's a binary outcome, right? It's either going to go to a million dollars of Bitcoin or zeroed. Uh, it's going to be one or the other, which is why you shouldn't put everything there. Um, uh, this reminds me a lot of 1999, 
right? We're in that phase. And what came out of that? Uh, eBay and Amazon and all sorts of interesting businesses came out of the dot-com sort of 1.0 era. Mm -hmm. And a bunch of it went to zero. And I think that will probably be true of what we see here. That doesn't mean the innovation isn't real and it's not going to play an important role in our collective future. Uh, Brock, before we go, are, what other cryptos are you buying other than Bitcoin or that you own? Well, I, a bunch of them. Uh, right now, obviously, the conversation is about Ethereum and they're upgrading to, to proof of stake. I famously just made a, a nine-figure bet on EOS. Uh, I converted all of my block one shares into that. That's public. Uh, and beyond that, I, I'm, I'm very interested in what's happening within the NFT market. Uh, I was a part of the NFT.com purchase and launch, which happened last week. And Panama, uh, their legislative branch of government, just passed its crypto laws last week and excited for the, the president to, to sign that into law as well. Brock Pierce. Perfect person to have on a day when uh, Bitcoin's falling about 9%. We're continuing to watch it. Thank you, my friend. We appreciate it.